User manual for 3D printers, original Prusa i3 MK3S Plus kit. Introduction, all the required tools are included. Printer package contains a lubricant, which is intended for maintenance. No need to use it now, the bearings are lubricated. Inserting the nuts. Pro tip inserting nuts, 3D printers are very precise, however, there still might be a tolerance in the printed part and same goes for the size of the nut. Therefore, it might happen that the nut won't fit easily in or might be falling out. Let's see how to fix it. Okay, we'll come back to that one and reward yourself. We have some Haribo bears. Keep the electronics inside the ESD bag right until you are asked to install them. Always touch the sides of the board when manipulating it. Avoid touching the chips, capacitors, and other parts of electronics. I might get gloves just in case. Okay, I hope that's enough. Y axis assembly. I think I'm just going to. Do they tell you which box it came from? No, they do not. I'm just going to take everything that says Y-axis and put them aside. And actually, I don't really work on carpet, so I'm going to bring uh, my tabletop over. Okay, we have Y-axis here. Motor kit, probably not. Plastic set, all of that. And I'm guessing this frame comes into play as well, just because there's something on the instruction manual that looks like it. Okay, prepare the following builds to prepare the following parts to build the YZ frame. YZ frame. I only see one frame, so I'm guessing it's this one here. sheet. Go there. Heat fed. It says do not directly print on that. I hope I never do that. Cool ninja star looking like thing. So don't forget it. M5X16R screw. Plastic nuts if I'm guessing these are the screws. As you just said, the screws are right here. Okay, this one says Y axis, probably that one. Tools. 
M5X16R. M5X16. And I think we we're supposed to do is that. So they have a little handy tool over there that says basically every single thing should fit exactly on it. I think this is it. It's got everything there. YZ frame mounting the longer extrusions. I think we put this up. And this part goes forward. Then these parts go into this part here with screws at the back. There are four sets. These longer ones. Mounting the longer extrusions go into the ones that are closer in there. So, like this, and in there. I think something like this. were meant to go on here with the symbol header. Yeah. All right, that is the one. And over here, is it the same? It's the same. Z frame mounting the shorter extrusions. Short extrusions must be placed on the side where engraved Prusa logo on the frame top left is not visible. So that is this side. And then they need to be on the side backwards here. This won't take more than one day just because I do want to get started on the enclosure.
All right. And that's not going anywhere. <clears throat> Before we proceed further, let's make a final check. It is important to have extrusions on the correct side of the frames. Long extrusions will be inside with the Prusa. Long extrusions with Prusa. And short extrusions without. That is completely fine. And let's see here. Okay, let's do a quick 